Hello friends, in this video tutorial, let us see the concept of SSAS cube proactive caching. So for the purpose of this video tutorial, we will use the same cube that we have developed in our earlier to video tutorial. So now let us go to the partitions tab. In partitions tab, we can see that there are 5 partitions, 2 for internet sales and 3 for reseller sales. Now let us go to storage settings. Now if we go to storage settings then we have already discussed these options in our one of our earlier video tutorials that is we can change the way the OLAP cube is updated from the resource database by changing the storage setting over here. Now there is one more important thing that is we can go to the custom settings. If you go to the custom settings and options, we can see there is something called enable proactive caching. So if we click this particular checkbox, then we will get further options to configure our proactive caching. But now before going into this, let us understand one important thing that by default, uh, MOLAB there is out of this one, one, two, three, 4 and 5 MOLAP stages, the last one that is pure MOLAP, okay, the only MOLAP is does not support proactive caching. So if you go over here, go to customs and if you just tick this and click OK and come out, you see it has changed. That is it is no longer MOLAP now. The bar is no longer on the MOLAP. It has converted itself into automatic MOLAP, okay. So if we change it over here again. And then we go to custom setting then you can see that enable proactive caching is gone which means that enable proactive caching option is not available when we are talking about this only MOLAP option right now having discussed this now let us discuss other settings that is if we are on some any other option then we can configure the proactive caching mode now let us say if we are on the scheduled MOLAP option and if you go to custom settings, then we can see that it gives the default settings for this particular mode that is scheduled MOLAP mode, what all custom settings are available. So by default, enable proactive caching is there. So it has been enabled. Also update the cache periodically after every one day, right? This is what the option that has been configured. So let us see is if suppose we go to schedule MOLAP, then we can see over here, right? It is clearly written that processing is automatically performed after every 24 hours. So this has been configured by this option that is update the cache periodically after every one days. Now if we go to some other option, right, let's say we go to medium latency, then the, the latency is 4 hours that is after every 4 hours things will get updated. So we can see over here drop outdated cache latency is target is 4 hours. So after every 4 hours the outdated cache will be dropped and new cache will be built up. Okay. Also during this time the, sil the silence interval is 10 seconds which means after the new update is received SQL server will wait for 10 seconds before processing the cube and silence override interval is 10 minutes. Now what does this mean? This means that let's say the base database keeps on receiving new updates be, be, before the time period of 10 seconds expires. So every time before the time period of 10 seconds expires, it keeps on receiving new updates. Then by our first logic that is by waiting for 10 seconds after every update, we may go into an infinite loop because we may never be able to update our cube with the help of source database if the source database continuously keeps on getting updated. So how to get out of this loop? We can get out of this loop using sil silence override interval that is let's say for continuously 10 minutes the, the uh, updates are observed and because of these updates if we are not able to process the queue because of this 10 seconds interval of silence interval then what will happen it will override so 10 minutes time will override the silence interval that is after 10 minutes even if the updates are happening our OLAP cube will get processed from the source database. And this particular setting that is drop outdated cache will keep a let target latency of 4 hours that is after every 4 hours our, uh, our cache will be dropped and new cache or OLAP cache will be built up. Now 
also we can say bring online immediately option has been ticked which means when the cache is being built up for MOLAP at that time if any query comes then that query will be served from the source database that query will be served by retrieving data from the source database so only during that time period that is when the MOLAP cube is being built again that is the cache is being built again only at that time for that time time duration the queries will perform slowly because they, the data will be retrieved from the source database that is the meaning of bring online immediately that is during the time also when the cache is being built the SSAS server will not or the SSAS queue will not remain unresponsive it will still be serving the request query request but how it will serve it will query the base database the source database okay now let us click cancel over here now let us see some more standard settings let's say for low low latency MOLAP so the targeted latency is 30 minutes so let us go to custom settings so over here we can see that the silence interval and silence override interval settings are same but drop outdated case is 30 minutes so that's the only change okay with respect to the earlier option this option has got only one change that is instead of four hours it is now 30 minutes and over here also bring on online immediately is tick which means the queries will be served from the source database when the cache is being rebuilt okay now let us see automatic MOLAP so over here if we go then we can see that only these two options have been ticked that is after every 10 seconds uh, if, uh, if uh, let's say if a change has been observed in on in the source database then our SSAS will, server will wait for 10 seconds and see if any new changes are coming or not so if any new changes are not coming then after 10 seconds it will process the MOLAP cube okay but if suppose the changes keep on coming then after 10 minutes it will process the MOLAP cube now so these are some of the options now let's go to real time OLAP we can see that some of the options have been configured right so what happens is silence override interval is not present right because the base data is all the only the aggregates are served from the from the uh, OLAP cube right but the main data is queried from the base database okay and over here for ROLAP the base data is always stored from the base database table that is uh, that's why the bring online immediately stick and outdated cache is dropped after every zero second which means the cache is not maintained which means that both the aggregates as well as data is served from the by querying the source database so we have seen that we are if we are on any of the options standard options pre-configured standard options we can still go to custom settings right and we can change the custom settings okay so these are the options that are available now enable uh, now apply settings to dimension which means that whatever settings are there these are for the um, for the fact tables right or the fact measures right measure groups but same can be applied to the dimensions also okay now let us cancel and now let us go to uh, a particular partition so now right now we have selected a particular partition and then we are going to going to the storage settings now in this case if you go to custom settings then we will get some additional options we will get the options to notify okay so what does notification mean notification means whenever some data changes in the base database then we can track those changes and we will get the notifications for those changes in our SSAS server so over here we have three options one is SQL server base notifications second is client initiated and third is scheduled scheduled pooling now first SQL server option is available only if the base source database is SQL server so if the source database is SQL server then we can click over here specify tracking tables 
and we can go over here and we can specify the tables that we want to track. So, if we have specified the tables then in if any changes are happening in these tables then we will get the notifications right. Now, if client initiated means any uh, other third party uh, database or systems which can notify SSL server. In this option also we can specify the tables that we want to track. And third is schedule pooling. In this we need to provide so the polling interval that is after 10 seconds or less after 10 minutes it will keep on seeing in the source database whether changes have occurred or not. Now on what basis will it see the change, uh, changes? It will see based on the polling query. Now this particular query that we specify okay, it needs to have uh, written a single row column value that is it needs to return a single cell and based on the if any changes have happened to the value of the single cell after every 10 subsequent minutes in, in our example then it will consider that some changes have occurred in the base database and then it will process the incremental data. Okay? Now, processing query is the query based on which it will process. So, this is this query polling query is used only to track the changes. Whereas, what to do if changes are there, then it will use processing query. So, whatever data is retrieved from the processing query, that for that data the updations will be applied. So, in this video tutorial, we have seen the uh, various standard uh, storage settings and how to customize those storage settings using the custom settings options. So, the main option that we have seen as part of this is enable proactive caching. So, if we enable it then we get further many options to further configure our storage setting in SSS OLAP cube. But before ending this video tutorial let us see one or two some important and interesting things. Uh, see right now automatic MOLAP is selected right and we are going to custom settings. Then the default behavior of automatic MOLAP is it will keep on updating the MOLAP cache and at the time when the MOLAP cache is being rebuilt uh, if a query comes during that time during the rebuild process then automatic MOLAP will use the existing that is outdated MOLAP case that is the rebuild process is parallel in nature. The outdated MOLAP case is maintained at the time when the updated new MOLAP case is being rebuilt and the queries are solved from the outdated MOLAP case. Hence the performance never degrades. Okay? And after the new updated MOLAP case has been built up the old MOLAP case that is the outdated MOLAP case is discarded and the queries are then shifted to the new updated MOLAP case. That is after the old a uh, new case is built up the old is discarded and the queries are then solved from the new MOLAP case. So, in the entire process data is not retrieved from the uh, base or uh, the base database and hence the queries are always running fast. That is the default behavior of automatic MOLAP. Okay? Now, if we go to medium MOLAP or lower latency MOLAP, then if you go to custom settings, now observe the default behavior over here. Over here the default behavior changes. In this case, this option has been tick marked out drop outdated cache up for the latency of 4 hours. So, in this particular uh, medium latency MOLAP or low latency MOLAP, a situation may arise when the data is served from the base database right? or the source database. Why? Because this option is tick, bring online immediately. Means, when the when drop outdated cache is tick, that is when the outdated cache is dropped okay, at that time. If a query comes, then the data is retrieved from the source database or the base database. So, at that time, during only that time period interval when the rebuild of the new updated case is going on at that time, the query performance can be slower. Okay? Now, but the interesting thing is you cannot untick this. When latency has been specified, you cannot untick this. right? What it is showing 
the latency setting must be disabled when the bring online option is unchecked so if this is unchecked okay then this has to be unchecked right but if latency has been specified then in that case we also need to have this option checked that is bring online immediately option check why because after the outdated cache has been dropped we need to tell ssa server that immediately start serving your request query request from the base or the source database and that is the reason why this option is ticked that is bring online immediately option is ticked so once the old cache is dropped then immediately with the help of this option bring online immediately option the data is retrieved from the base or source database and then it is the query is served using that data so that's why these two options go together that is either these two options are unchecked or these two options are checked together right so once we check this that message is gone so and i hope, hope friends you also understand the reasoning behind this behavior that is why those two check boxes are either checked together or unchecked together the reasoning is i hope we have understand using this video tutorial over here also in low latency mlf also the outdated cache is dropped and at that time when the outdated cache is dropped at that time before the new cache is built up what in that time due interval whatever request comes it needs to be served from the base database or the source database and that's why this option has to be ticked that is bring online immediately option has to be ticked also there is one more option enable rolf aggregation so if this option is ticked then the aggregations are maintained in rolf format in the relational source database so in that too in the format of materialized views so if we tick this option we have to ensure that the relational source database supports materialized views or index views okay so i hope friends this video tutorial on proactive caching is useful to you thank you